I have never played RuneScape until today. It's time to start my very first cozy RuneScape adventure. Last time I did the Mistelin mystery quest, which sent me through a roller coaster of emotions with the twists and the betrayals. It ended up leaving me so speechless that I just stood at the bank afterwards until it logged me out. This time, I'm still on the self-sufficiency train, and I wanted to try rune crafting so I can make runes to train my magic. I looked it up, and to start doing this skill, I need to do the Rune Mysteries quest. So I find Duke Horatio vibing in his bedroom on the first floor of the Lumbridge Castle with his pointy beard, and he tells me that he found a weird talisman in the basement and he wants me to bring it to the wizards for him. I don't really know why this would benefit him, but maybe he's just being a nice guy and wants to give the wizards a present. I wanted to help this guy Sigmund out too while I'm here, but I'm not allowed to help him apparently because I'm not good enough for him, I guess. On the way to the wizards, I take a little rest by the pond with the ducks. Then I also accidentally click a goblin which gets me going on a tangent of training range again. When I finally remember my mission, I make it to the wizard tower and go down to the basement to meet Archmage Cedridor, which is a very cool name. He's acting so shady and like he might not actually be Cedridor, so I'm really hesitant to give him the talisman because he seems kind of evil. In the end, he actually is Cedridor and everything turns out fine so I don't know why he was being so sketchy. He says the talisman might be the key to finding the lost rune essence mine, and that makes me feel very useful. I go to Cedridor's rune crafting friend's house to meet with him, and this vampire appears out of nowhere, ominously telling me that he wants to check me, whatever that means. I just ignore him while I chat with Aubrey, and this guy really wants to check me. I failed the check. I feel like I disappointed him because he disappeared immediately. After bringing Aubrey's notes back to Cedridor, I can access the Rune Essence Mine. It feels right to celebrate this by getting my pickaxe and taking a little mining break. So after looking up how to actually make the runes, I head over to the wind altar and make my first runes. They get created all at once, which is kind of nice, but also means that there's no break in between running here and running back to the essence mine. It seems like there's a lot of running around involved in this skill, and not only is my character bad at running, but I'm also bad at remembering to click the run button. So maybe this skill isn't the best for me. While kind of wandering around aimlessly doing a clue scroll afterwards, I end up talking to this girl Veronica who has a quest for me. She says her fiancé Ernest went into the spooky mansion and hasn't come out yet, so she wants me to go look for him. This quest is called Ernest the Chicken, so either Veronica is very weird for dating a chicken, or something crazy is happening in that mansion. I feel like I'm having flashbacks to the last quest with a mansion that looked exactly like this. I'll be on guard this time in case Veronica tries something and wants to kill me. Hey, there are ghosts in here! And the chair is following me! I'm being haunted! I 
I'm creating an army of chair friends. All right, I'm definitely lost in here and I don't see any chickens. There's a creepy crypt down here in the basement, which is fun, but it seems unrelated to the task at hand. Maybe that's where the checking guy lives. This music is a bop also. I end up finally finding a secret door and a ladder that leads to the basement with a fun lever-based puzzle. I just kind of flip the levers randomly until I get it to work, but since all the levers have letters, I wonder if the order was supposed to spell something or something like that. I end up getting an oil can, but I think I didn't need to do all that or even find the secret door because what I was trying to do was get outside and there's actually just a normal door on the other side of the house that led me outside. Uh-oh, that's not very cozy. I dig up a key in the garden and then poison the fish to get a pressure gauge because I guess they would have bit me if I didn't kill them. I keep clicking on trees trying to cut them down because they just look fun to cut but I keep forgetting that I don't have an axe with me. Excuse me sir, I just want the rubber tube please. So it turns out Ernest was turned into a chicken by this mad scientist, Professor Oddenstein, who is in fact odd. I like that this is one of the dialogue options because that's exactly what I was thinking. It looks like maybe I did actually need the oil. I'm not sure, but the professor took it, so my lever puzzle solving counted for something. Yay, Ernest is human again. That was a much more upbeat quest than the one from last time. I guess I did have to kill some fish though. All right, I think that's it for this episode. Next time, I'll finally head over to hang out with the gnomes and do some agility and some exploring. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate the comments everyone leaves and I'm excited to make a little playlist for myself out of all your favorite RuneScape songs that were mentioned in the comments a few episodes ago. Anyway, that's all for now. Bye.